Hello, and welcome to this week's Let's Talk Machines Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. Sometimes it can be difficult to identify and visualize problem cells in your pointwise projects because they are often quite small relative to the rest of the mesh. Pointwise provides a few features within the examine panel to help you identify potential problem areas within your meshing projects. Here, I have an unstructured block, and I can inspect its cell quality by using any of the metrics within the examine menu. For example, if I were interested in cell skewness criteria, I might choose the maximum included angle metric from the list as one way to measure skewness. After selecting an appropriate function, the examine panel opens. I can quickly identify where in the mesh the cells with the maximum and minimum values of a selected function are located by clicking over to the Extrema tab. In this tab, the maximum, minimum, and average values for the selected function are provided, along with the x, y, and z coordinates of the cell centroids for the function's max and min values. In the case of structured grid entities, the minimum i, j, and k location for the extrema cells is also given. Often, these extrema cells may be difficult to visualize, but you can toggle their visibility on the display window by using the corresponding show max and min options. You can center the view of the display window on each of these extrema cells by clicking on the corresponding zoom button. When examining database surface grids, an additional zoom and align option is available, which will center the view on the maximum or minimum extrema cells and align the view's orientation with the normal direction of the underlying database surface. By toggling on the visibility of the selected function's maximum or minimum cells, you can quickly create a cut through this cell by using the Select Point option over on the Cuts tab. This will help you visualize any neighboring cells, which may also be useful for determining the source of any poor cells in this region. In the display window, you can click on any of these cells to have the cell or group of cells, depending on the function selected, highlighted, and the value of the function at this location is shown on the color bar. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you, and have a pleasant Tuesday.